Hi, this is the analysis of Nathaniel here. Just a quick video, super quick video comparing Red Dead 2 with GTA 5. I'm going to do this parts 1 to probably... Parts 1 to probably 4 or so. But uh, a part 2 is not going to look like this. I'm going to do gameplay and I'm going to have commentary over it. So quickly, just a comparison. Uh, again, share, like, subscribe. Subscribe bottom, on bottom right hand of the screen. So Red Dead 2 GTA 5. I right off the bat the prologue. GTA 5 has a better prologue. Red Dead 2's prologue is longer, more drawn out. Although it does add more context, but... The, the gameplay does hold you back. It does hold you back in that slower. You move slower. You move heavier. Uh, cover, you know, it's, it's annoying because everything, I, you know, uh, the video game uh, mechanic works against you. Whereas in GTA 5, it's more fluent. The mechanics are more fluent. The movement, moving in and out of cover, shooting, aiming, you know, reloading feels more fluent. Red Dead 2 does, is just heavier. So the prologue, and the prologue prevents you from running a lot in those cutscenes, uh, pre cutscenes. And, you know, so uh, you can't run. And uh, there is uh, many of these moments in Red Dead 2 which holds it back. So I right off the bat, GTA 5's, the, uh, it is easier, uh, easier to get into, funner, and. Red Dead 2 as well, it is, you're more isolated, it starts out more isolated, and yeah, you guys in the Arctic, you're outlaws in the Arctic, whereas GTA 5, you're in Los Santos, which is Los Angeles, so big city, big population, people everywhere, so I right to about GTA 5, they have the advantage, and as well, you are racing in, the second mission has you racing in sports cars, whereas in Red Dead 2, everything is on horseback. Or you're on horseback or on foot. So yeah, uh, prologue uh, right off the bat. Uh, I like the exploration in both games. I love the exploration. Uh, Red Dead 2, I do, I would, I give the edge towards because there's just more immersion. There's more interest to explore the world. Um, the perfect cowboy sim assimilation. Perfect. Once a game opens up, once you get past the slow first two hours oh it's really worth it the mysteries is stranger than freak the side missions gta 5 does have that as well but not to the extent as red dead 2 side mission i could just go on side missions and side mission after side mission and bounty hunter bounty hunting and gaining money and you know and as well hunting hunting is very worth it because you're hunting to gain more armor uh, uniform sets, which I'm going to mention like in the next episode. GTA 5, it's mainly it's the, the, explore, the exploring, what well about exploration you're exploring for cars. Like I said quickly, there's so many sports cars, right? There's obviously, you know, the uh, Bugatti, there's a Bugatti in uh, the uh, Beverly Hills, Hills of the map. There's a Lamborghini Diablo, so you're just exploring to find these supercars. That's what I'm mostly exploring for. And the side missions and the world skyscrapers. It's big, it's massive, and you're going to beaches. You got the uh, ghetto areas. There's all the, the richer areas, Beverly Hills. You got the midtown areas, downtown areas, the movie theater areas, the celebrity areas. So it's very nice, immersive. Again, Red Dead 2, you're mostly in the wilderness. But there's tons. Uh, replacing, obviously, are, are replacing the wilderness with the city. No, the city with, with the wilderness is going to be a different take. Red Dead 2, you're mostly, there's 350 species in the, of, of animal in the game. So animal species, that, 300 animal species. So hunting pelts and all that and using the right weapon associated uh, with a certain animal bow and arrow 